Hello, welcome to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Today we are going to look at these burnt funeral oily colored pencils I got off of Amazon. They came in Friday. And that's today. But y'all won't see this until next week. Next Thursday. <coughs> There's 120 of them. They came in a plastic sleeve. And the dog thinks I'm getting into food. But I'm going to use plastic. Okay, it comes in a cardboard deal. I've been playing in acrylics today. I thought my hands was dry, but apparently they ain't. Okay. Whew. They stink. Guys. Everybody says they don't. They do. They come in this black tin. Too flimsy. They've got food name on them. They come with this foam. They come with a DIY color list. The color and the name. They are square. They come with like little rubber bands on the sides. That's pretty neat. They ain't. Mm, they semi flimsy to me. Ooh, I love these. Those is pretty. I like the purples. Ooh, I can't wait to play with these. I like those. And then the... I like some... Ooh, these blues is pretty too. Okay. There's three layers. Add them. Now, I'm going to put these in in a book because that's just how I roll. That's what I, what I like. And um, we'll swatch these once I get all of them in a book. And I'm not going to swatch all these on on, on uh, YouTube, on video, and, uh, no, I don't have my, I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use this for now, but I will use uh, something else in a little bit, once I get to, let's do 92, and the, and the warning is, um, uh, Chinese something besides English, but it does have the name of the pencil. This is kind of like a gold opal. Oh, baby. Let's see what this does on something else. Sorry, the paper. Hang on. I wasn't ready. Okay, I'm just going to use my uh, sketch diary that came from Walmart. Let's see how well these blends. And yeah, I don't guess I've got any of my lights on. I don't know what looks dark. Yeah, I'm having a bad day. Oh, yeah. Let's see what this is. Let's go a little bit on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, these is gonna be nice to play with. So I know there's been a lot of reviews on these. I had to see if it was worth the hype for a cheap pencil. Yes, I say so. Oh no, I may like these better than my prism coin. That's that's what that's not easy for me to say because I like my prism coins. Um, but well, I'll uh, do. I'll, I'm gonna play with them and get back with y'all here in a few in a little while and get these all organized like I want them in a book and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, I am back to finish my review on the Bronx Final Final Square 120 pencils. I put them in this case because I do like my pencils in cases. Because I can take them and go, go to the bedroom, mm -hmm. go wherever. Mm -hmm. And um, they are all base. And they are square. And you can tell I have used a few of them. But in fact, I colored this with it. This was one of the projects we did at the library. I did at the library last week. I brought, brought it home and finished it, but anyways, with the R dark coloring class, and I made swatches, and I made my own swatch, and I got these, uh, I got the names of these off of the Facebook somewhere, that, uh, so I can't really share all the names with you. But if you get these, let me know. Um, I like them. They are oily. They are creamy. And I like them about as good as I do my prism corns. Except they don't break as easy as my prism corns. But I got my reds and my orange. I mean, I'll put them in the order I would use them in. And then this is my prism corns and my gold. Uh, Fable Castell uh, Gold Fiber Pencils. I got my alcohol blender, ink pen, a brush, pencils, you know. It seems like I've used a lot of this one. And I don't have the extender for them, so that kind of screws you up too. I am going to take my coloring journal, and I made this off of a stuff I downloaded off of Pinterest, and I've used it a few times, and um, this was a uh, one that I did last week, so we're going to do this one, no one's going to remote my TV. I've already lost one. You know, it's just a remote. Mm. I am going to start out with this uh, lime. Lime green is 115. And I'm sure it's got a name to it, but I don't speak Chinese. And uh, you have to have a big old, the round old, Pencil sharpener for these. Mm. And I'm going to call this whole picture. Now, I like a budget-friendly pencil. I think I paid about 25 cents each for these. And they are great to practice with, I think. And to learn your blending and all. Uh, you can still use your prism points if you got a limited number of them. I think they blend. We'll see. 
a blend good together because I can't remember if I blended the two together or not. Now I'm just coloring and y'all y'all know how I get. I get quiet when I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. <clears throat> My arm is giving me fits today, guys. Don't know exactly what's going on, but Oh, no, you don't. I'm going to take this olive green. And all of these is going to probably have to be sharpened today. Ooh, I don't like that. That's the first one that's done that. Just so y'all know. Yes, I have got a lot of pencils. I know I do. And I've got so many reviews to do. It ain't funny, but I keep buying. Now, I am not sponsored. These was not sent to me by nobody. I bought them myself, so y'all's gonna get my honest, well, y'all's gonna get my honest opinion. No matter what, but. Upsets me about that one. But I'm just, I'm trying to just to do a bunch of videos this week. Um, maybe get ahead for once. Because next week's going to be crazy again.
David's got like four doctor's appointments on four diff for four days in a row. He's gonna wear me out. Okay, I'm going in with the orange. And this is number 04. 004. And I'm going to sharpen it. Now, I buy these at Walmart. They the pen and gear. I like the automatic one. Or the battery operated one. Better than any of them. I have replaced that with a, a master blade. Love it. <coughs> like I said, I'm gonna have to sharpen probably every pencil I pick up because these ain't that sharp. Not as sharp as I like them. And I have used a few of them. So some of them's going to probably be shorter than the other ones. But I love how they layer them. And I like them because they don't, I mean, you don't have to press down on them that hard to get a good even color on them. I mean, I like doing the reviews because if I can, I mean, I love my art supplies. I love, I love getting stuff in the mail. And I've had these a couple weeks, just so y'all know that I've. Uh, Played around
And like I said, I'm going to probably get quiet and talk a little bit and get quiet. Because that's just how I am. And y'all don't forget about the giveaway this week. Um, we are giving away a froggy uh, bookmark. Here he is. Uh, subscribe and like any of this week's videos. And subscribe if you ain't already subscribed. And leave us a comment on one of our videos this week, and you will be entered to win for the drawing. It is U.S. only address, and you have to be 18 years old. I don't know nothing about sending stuff overseas because I've never done it. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, now we are going in with a red, and I'm going to use this real beautiful bright red. And as usual, it's got to be sharpened. I mean, this is like four layers so far. And I'm just doing light layers. And you have to be patient with colored pencils. You can hear my fan going. It is hot here. And the AC is on. Yeah, my arm, it, my elbow is killing me today. I don't know if I slept on it wrong. It just started all at once. But it is giving me fits today. Just so y'all know. Hmm. 
Okay, that's four layers on that one picture. And I think I'm going back in with the olive green. Or was it second layer? And this may not work, guys. It don't look like it may. Yeah. But I'm pushing down pretty hard on it right now. To give it the, uh, to get the green to layer. So about five layers is about all. I mean, you can probably do more, but I wouldn't advise it. Because I think the hard, I mean, the more you put it on it, the harder it's going to get. My opinion. I mean, y'all know how I say it. Take it with a grain of salt. <clears throat> you know, everybody has a different opinion on everything. So don't just take my opinion. Um... I do like these more than I thought I would. They are a good budget friendly pencil. No, are they uh, black fats? I don't know. I have no clue because they are budget friendly pencil. Most fr uh, budget friendly it's probably not a lot fast um, for what I do I mean I don't sell my work I mean I guess I would if somebody wanted it but I wouldn't I still would be scared to sell it so Because I know I don't use like fastness and all that stuff. Didn't know it was such a thing until the last couple of years. layers of the brute friend, friend, friend blah 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 the fruit funnel colored pencils let me see if I can find yeah here's the prism and now we're gonna take the olive green prism card and see what this does oh yeah and I'm not hardly having to put no pressure whatsoever So yeah, I would say you could mix these two pretty good. I know the uh, Carlos Blender, a prism color looks good with this. Just saying. I mean, y'all, you know, like I say, take it the, the way you want to. Oh, 
Okay, that's all I'm doing on this one uh, because of the fact that we know it's working and I just wanted to show, see, I mean, I wasn't for sure, I knew the uh, Carlos Blend don't work great, great with it, with them, but I didn't know how well. Let's see. Oh yeah. Wonder how well the alcohol would. Now I ain't tried this one either. And this is a breast tip. I can tell a difference. I don't know if you could on what, if you would on camera. But I definitely can. Um, Okay, now, as always, remember to clean your uh, alcohol markers off. Uh, I hope y'all find this uh, review uh, helpful. If I can answer questions, if you got questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to enter for the free uh, frog bookmark, and I will eliminate him in a few days for our shipping. So, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll catch you later. Bye.